Welcome back. The fan favorites promo is officially here and I'll be showing you guys everything you need to be doing inside of it. So let me get straight into it. Starting off with the six new mythic players. One being Jalen Ramsey, the second one being a six foot nine out of position, 325 pound wide receiver. Actually crazy. And then we had Terrell Suggs, John Randall, Landon Dickerson, and Nick Folk. I'll go over the players more a little bit later, but for now, we got a lot to talk about. The fans have spoken. Take the field with new 172 overall fan favorite players, Jalen Ramsey, Dan Skipper, and more. Complete journeys alongside the fan favorites players. Earn better rewards by increasing your team's total overall. Mystery claims are awarding valuable items. Redeem one daily for an extra boost of rewards. Then we got the fan favorites VIP event pass that does cost $30, and that's all up to you guys if you want to buy it. Fan favorites ends on 2 slash 29 at 10 30 a.m eastern time and yeah let's get straight into the fan favorites promo which the first thing i'll be starting off with is the info tab then going into the events and explaining everything throughout that then going to the trades and then whatever i missed from there on out so complete journeys alongside the fan favorites players redeem a mystery claim daily for a boost resets occur daily at 10 30 a.m eastern so at reset time every day for the upcoming how many days you have a fan favorites which is from the 16th to the 29th which is two weeks long you will get a daily claim you will get one on your right and one on your left and i'll be giving you guys what's inside every single daily claim at reset time in the discord which is linked down below so join the discord guys go ahead and activate your matter mobile news ping and you guys will get pinged whenever i go ahead and post what's inside the daily claim so i'll let you guys know what's inside of this one on the right is an uncommon player select and on the left is enough tokens to get yourself an uncommon player select which is 135 tokens and i will not be claiming the daily claim because i got more to explain throughout the events so yeah i'll claim the daily claim a little bit later but first i gotta get through this blitz one blitz two blitz three and blitz four right blitz one is out right now it's called stage one with a bunch of journey events Blitz 2, which is Stage 2, comes out on the 20th of February, which is more fan favorite journey events. And then we got Blitz 3, which is Stage 3, which comes out on the 23rd of February. And then we got Blitz 4, which is coming out on the 26th of February, which is Stage 4. So we got Stage 1, Stage 2, Stage 3, Stage 4 of fan favorite journey events, just like Stage 1. So everything should be similar in some kind of way, and it should be as a also sign for the next upcoming drops the next drop should be on the 20th the 23rd and the 26th four day separate drops of players should be three players a drop if it's two it's two if it's three it's three i don't know if it'll be more but yeah i'm kind of like speculating from other drops throughout madden mobile usually it's two to three a drop but you never know so let me explain what you guys need to do throughout the events to go ahead and obtain these fan favorite players so you have the overall reward tiers which tells you where you're landed by your overall right if you're in elite you have a 4400 overall if you're in gold you have a 3750 overall and if you're obviously not in elite or gold you're any overall under gold below a 3750 overall and you won't get as much fan favorite tokens if you're in silver you'll get 80 plus fan favorite tokens if you're in gold you get 500 plus fan favorite tokens if you're in elite you'll get 768 fan favorite tokens with a chance at the program players which is also a beneficial thing if you do pull them right now i'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys how much fan favorite tokens you get throughout doing all the journey events once with the additional top two events with the you know 185 favorite tokens because we got two of those without the event stamina you could play those without any event stamina which is fantastic all oh, the bottom ones you need to do it i haven't auto yet you guys see how much fan favorite tokens i have i have 868 now it does say over here in the overall reward tiers that you do get at elite because i'm in elite and i'll explain to you guys uh, how i figured out the you know how much you get throughout gold and silver soon but in elite at 4,400 overall, you get 768 plus fan favorite tokens, right? I got 768 fan favorite tokens from completing all of the journey events once. I haven't ordered yet, okay? Now I know it says 868 fan favorite tokens because I did my daily goals for fan favorites, which gave me an additional 100 fan favorite tokens, guys. And you also get an uncommon player where you complete both, which is pretty cool. So yeah, rush and pass for 75 yards. 
you get an additional together 100 fan favorite tokens so with the additional 100 i get you know i got 768 from the journey events with the additional daily goals i have 868 fan favorite tokens right so that's where the plus side comes from this where it says 768 plus right now it also says that because i could go ahead in the info tab right here and on the left side claim my tokens right just like that and that's 132 and now i have a thousand and if i go to the trades and go over here to uncommon select they're 135 so you can basically get an uncommon select with the daily claim it is 132 a uncommon select is 135 it's just a little bit off which is not that far off it's like three off ish which is not that bad but the reason i didn't put the daily claim into the math of you playing the journey event from stage one just once is because maybe you claimed the uncommon select right i don't know what you guys did you could have claimed the uncommon select you could have claimed the tokens so i didn't want to put it into there because it would have confused the math but i had 768 fan favorite tokens i did the daily goals got an additional 100 got 868 right and then when i go ahead and do these two events up here and get 185 twice all together that's 868 fan favorite tokens with the additional 185 twice which in total is 1238 fan favorite tokens from just completing the journey once no autoing right you could obviously auto afterwards to build up the 1238 fan favorite tokens to more throughout the day that you have but that is just the rundown on how much fan favorite tokens you will be getting when you go ahead and complete it. Obviously, I don't have it because I haven't played it. Obviously, I'll do that on my own time. I don't want to waste your time just playing throughout it. Plus, you will get on common players, which there is two up here and two up there again, which that is four. And then you get three more there. So all together, you will get seven on common players with also one rare player. So you'll get basically two rare players from completing the journey which is also nice that's going to help you go in and get an epic which is great you guys are going to have to grind obviously with the fan favorite tokens that you get it also help you get more rares to build your epic as well to then go ahead and build your iconic right you're going to go ahead play grind for tokens get your uncommons with the tokens then to get your rares then to get your epics to then get your iconics just like that now i explained the elite one right same thing for gold you have 500, you complete your daily goals, you add the extra 100 on there, that's 600, you add the extra 185 and 185 again twice from the top ones. Together for gold, you should get for just completing the journey once, 970 fan favorite tokens. And then silver, at 80 plus fan favorite tokens, you will have the same thing. You get your 80 fan favorite tokens from completing the journey once, and then you go ahead and get an extra 100 from your daily goals, and then you add the 185 from the top ones, twice which all together is 550 fan favorite tokens which is not bad you would get 550 for silver just once and then you get 970 from gold just once and then you get 1238 from elite just once and then obviously when you do it once you can then go ahead and auto it from there on out and then keep on building up your tokens and that's how much you guys are going to get from one and a half refills every single day and obviously if you do more than one and a half refills you're gonna get more I'm saying one and a half because I didn't spend my full refill. I did this without spending like my whole entire refill I did. So I, I'm calling it a half, which really I only needed like 70 stamina. So I took like 70 out of my 200 that I got from a refill. I could have just waited, but I just wanted to do a refill just so I could obviously do this video for you guys <laughs> and get it uh, done with. So I did that. Obviously, if I had time, I would have done it and uh went on without doing a refill but you could do a refill every day it's only 250 mana cash for extra 200 event stamina which is not that bad refills will benefit you to get more players throughout the fan favorites promo and it could be a thing that will obviously be better off but if you don't then you don't and you can just play throughout the events without spending any mana cash but a little bit doesn't hurt if you're just getting it throughout the game freely now that that is all explained, let me get straight into the trades. Now that you got your tokens, right? You can then go ahead and get your uncommons, which I suggest everyone to do the uncommon player trade. 95 for one, 
This is very beneficial because you'll be getting one for 95. And if you do it multiple times, you're going to get, obviously, for this example, 950 for 10, right? And five on comments gives you one rare player. Or you can go ahead and do seven on comments for two rare players. But this is obviously specific ones. So you're going to need to obviously get a bunch of uncommons to put them in for the seven that you need for two rares which i think that's better off because then you save you know three rares that you would have put into here for five uncommons five uncommons so that's ten uncommons for your two rares you would have just saved three uncommons by just putting in seven specific ones for two rares this is a good trade to do i obviously suggest this one over this one just because you are saving more on commons and you will get more out of it. If you do wait, it will be better. Save your tokens if you guys don't want these players out of the first drop. Or if you do want them, still save them anyways. Just because saving is better off. So you can go ahead and spend it all on the last day. And be like, okay, now I can plan what I get. Instead of being all over the place. I've been doing it. It's actually been very nice. And yeah, you'll be better off 100%. And let's just say you don't have an uncommon on like the second or third day. And then you're just like, oh, let me just drop some mana cash. Let me just do that. Let me go ahead and wait and do some tokens. If you saved up, you won't have that problem unless you run into the problem. But hopefully you don't have that problem. But besides that, I was saying you guys should do the 95 for one. You can do the select if you want to. I don't suggest it. And a lot of people will be recommending these, which then again, it's all luck, guys. OK, you can pull rares. You can pull epics. You can pull an iconic. But it's all luck, okay? You will rarely ever pull an Iconic out of these, okay? You can try it once or twice. I'm not going to lie. Do it if you want to. But don't always do it. It's not worth it. You're just wasting fan favorite tokens if you don't pull an Epic or multiple rares in a case of how much you spend. And if you pull an Iconic, that's just crazy, okay? Like, you just got very lucky. Now that I explained the uncommons and I already did the rares, let's go to the epics. If you guys go ahead and obviously get tokens for uncommons for rares, you put them in for your epic players. Always do the random epic player first. Never do the select because you always want to go ahead and randomly get an epic just because. You know, let's just say for the example, you want the Dan Skipper out of position wide receiver, six foot nine, 325 pound. Okay, let me stop him. Okay, that's a crazy card, by the way. I can't wait to actually use that. I'm going for him and uh, a couple other players, depending on all their drops. But yeah, I'm still saving those uh, till like the end. I'm going to be smart about this. But back to what I was saying. Let's just say you want Dan Skipper's iconic player. You obviously need three of Dan Skipper's epics. So you're going to want to go ahead and do the random. You're going to go ahead and save rares, right? Because if you do the select, you're wasting two more rares by selecting his epic when you can go ahead and do the random and randomly hopefully pull his epic player out of the three times you do it. You can do this when you get your tokens. You can do this when you save up your tokens towards the end. Whatever you guys want to do, obviously. But if you do this three times and only pull his, you know, epic once, then good. Do it one more time and hopefully pull it again. If you don't, you don't. Then from there on out, you go to the select. If you don't pull it, you know, when you do it three times, go to the select. Same thing, okay? Don't just do random over and over and over again. Only, just only do the random epic player trade if you're going to get the random iconic player, okay? Because it doesn't matter what epics you need. So that is just something that makes sense if you do, right? So yeah, that is how it should be. And if you get your iconic right and you want uh, mythic, you're going to go in and get two iconics for a uh, foil for then the mythic player if you just want iconics just get the iconics if you want though what i always recommend if you're gonna get a mythic right which i don't really suggest mythics i think getting multiple iconics is more beneficial to overall than just getting one mythic if you're free to play obviously if you're not free to play you get mythics okay that's multiple 172s on your team that's fantastic right but one 172 is not really as worth it you can get like two to three or maybe actually three to four, depending on how your grind is, of Iconics that are at 160, which is actually really nice. That's going to be, you know, two to three or three to four, 160 overall players added to your team. 
and that is better than just 1172, just saying. But something I do like to do whenever I'm going to get a mythic player, is simply be like, okay, who do I want, right? Example, here we go. I want Jalen Ramsey. Let's just say, it. I'm gonna go ahead and get a bunch of epic players at random, right? Gonna grind the events, get the tokens, put them in for accounts, put them in for rares, put them in for the epic random. Grab those epic randoms, put them in for the iconic player at random, open this once, see if I can pull the Jalen Ramsey, because that will be crazy and more beneficial to my grind if I can get him out of the random than selecting him, right? It's just, you know, you're saving rares at that point instead of going and selecting his rares. Let's just say I get Jalen Ramsey's iconic player out of this trade, right? I can go ahead and put it into his foil player. Let's just say I do not pull the Jalen Ramsey iconic out of this trade. I can go ahead and put it into the mythic player because the mythic player does need one fan favorite iconic player at random. And then obviously you need the foil. So you can obviously test your luck if you want to get a mythic that way. But I do suggest just getting the iconics. Foils are not worth it. It's just plus five overall. If you want, level up your player to 165, just like a foil. And uh, there you have it. I know if you go ahead and get a foil and then level it up, it's going to be a little bit higher overall than the iconic if you level it up. But I just don't think it's worth it to put one card into another card when you could have just got multiple cards and update your team a lot more it's more beneficial right free to play if you're thinking about it if you spend money it's out of the option but yeah that's a good way to put it so i explained the events which led into the trades which then that is basically it because that's the whole entire like rundown but yeah honestly we do have some pretty good players that drop we have Jalen ramsey six foot one 208 pound cornerback which is not that bad you know it's great to be above six foot when you are a corner he's you know, man to man, he has 168 man, 165 zone for his base iconic. And obviously, if we go ahead and look at his mythic, it's going to obviously have better stats. He doesn't change height and weight. That would just be crazy. Uh, but yeah, obviously, the stats are a little bit better for the mythic iconics. You know, it's, it's hard to go and look at every single one of the players because obviously the stats change with overall. But yeah, I'll just go ahead and go over a little bit more of the players. So I'm going to skip the wire series, go back to that soon. But Terrell Suggs, 160 linebacker. He is 6'3", 265 pounds. I mean, this is a great linebacker. If you guys do need a linebacker, there is three linebacker positions on your team. So that could be a great linebacker to go in and put if you do need one. If you don't, skip it, right? There is more drops. This is just something to look at. D-tackle, John Randall. Not a bad defensive tackle, 6'1", 290. Obviously, there's like bigger and taller defensive tackles out there. But, I mean, it's not that bad if you look at it. He has 166 tackle, 159 hit power. And if you think about it, his stats should be better than most of the D tackles out here in the game because it is an updated defensive tackle card. He's at 160. Most D tackles, you know, if there was a mythic that had one, probably is outdated a little bit. But yeah, if you get the defensive tackles mythic, that's a different story. That's pretty high in stats and overall at 172. That shouldn't be that bad. And then we have a Ogart Landon Dickerson, six foot six, 332 pounds. All of these alignment are tall, man. And I'm going to get into him right now. Out of position, wide receiver, six foot nine, 325 pound. Oh my, he's not the fastest player, right? But that doesn't matter. Look at this man's run blocking stats. Insane. He has good receiving stats. Like, I don't know how they make up, like, their receiving stats. I guess, you know, if an O-line, you know, goes ahead and, you know, says, oh, I'm eligible to catch a ball for a touchdown, and they catch it on their first attempt, you know, they don't drop that ball. I guess the receiving stats must be high in a sense of them catching the ball, right? I really don't know how that works. But, hey, he's a physical wide receiver i mean he should be he's 325 pounds six foot nine that's crazy and uh i'm sorry i, I left out the kicker uh nick folk uh yeah it's a kicker, guys updated kicker this should be the best kicker in the game for now until they update us with another new kicker just saying uh store nothing new you know fan favorites it has the money offers as usual mana cash offers as usual if you have mana cash i do recommend you guys get the super pack that's usually the best thing uh, or you get the legendary pack. It's the obviously actually the legendary pack is the best thing, obviously. But you know, for five thousand less matter cash, you're just getting two epics and a chance at iconic. For five thousand more, you're getting 
two more epics and a chance at iconic so yeah actually it's, it's a lot better but you know it's five thousand more mana cash if you have mana cash that you've been saving i recommend doing it if you like the fan favorites drop if you want wait until the end so you see all the players so you then could go ahead and get the epics throughout that pack when it is updated but that is everything throughout fan favorites that's your events explained with your daily goals and what's so with the trades with the store with the players with with that with everything uh you know if i did play the events which i didn't what is this 70 win the game of the fourth quarter let me just do this so i can get the name plays the logos uh the the rare players and common players i gotta put the top ones too that cost no stamina obviously i'm not gonna do it now i'm gonna do it in my own time we are losing oh my okay before i end this let me let me uh let me win this right here oh my god <laughs> i thought i threw an interception for a second that was a weird plays ball okay so time's running out perfect pass down the middle i like that we got a little bit of seconds left i'm kind of scared to run this clock out yeah because i don't know how the run game is going to go not going to go as well clock's going to keep running out please please let's let's do this on the first try okay wait boom time out that was very risky to do okay very risky to do we're gonna go full back power we need this easy easy just like that and we won do we just get the win automatically oh wow we got to actually play with the two point okay we'll just grab the two point so there you officially have it we got our fan favorite rare player three uncommon fan favorite players we got the two logos three nameplates there's a, a bunch more of nameplates and logos to get and yeah it, it's it's a lot it's, it's actually crazy uh we got 118 kick returner marvin mims jr okay i actually haven't seen any of the uncommons or rares doesn't really matter as much but yeah let me go ahead and equip you know super bowl's over let's get the logo i like actually the the, the bobblehead things kind of cool like just the head of that player obviously all the players should get a logo that are out and then we have the name play which i don't really know what they look like but i think that's the ones i i i don't i think think it is okay it matches so i'll take yeah that's the one okay it matches the color okay perfect so logo nameplate players claimed hopefully you guys get a bunch of fan favorite players on your journey of grinding and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace